So now that we have like 13 subscribers and we're like a professional YouTube channel, I decided we should broaden our horizons and maybe try a different type of video today. So this video is not sponsored clearly, um, but I just got a new Ipsy bag, but really my sister just gave me all her stuff from Ipsy she doesn't want. And so I'm going to make a makeup tutorial. But I'm also going to use my makeup, which I don't have a makeup bag, so it's in a Target bag. Also not sponsored by Target. So I thought I'd give you a little view of my setup right now. This is my bathroom, this is my sink, and that's my hair tie. And this is my professional lighting system, and this is a mirror. So again, this is like totally not sponsored, but I am going to try and use everything that I stole from my sister because, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in here. And so I'm going to use everything that I got, just so you know. So today I'm trying to be like a professional YouTube makeup tutorial maker, so I'm going to do voiceovers. And so right now I'm putting on some primer. This is another primer that came in the Ipsy stuff. It doesn't come out very well. You'll see me struggle with it. There's me struggling. Update, that stuff stinks. So this one was another primer I was super excited to use because I've actually seen like YouTubers use this one, but you can't see my excitement. So at this point, I put like a ton of primer on my face, like three different primers. Um, but those were all three from the Ipsy Stealing, and now I'm going to use my own personal foundation because I didn't get any of that in there. This is my Fancy Beauty Blender. I spent like $2 on it. This is my cheap foundation. So, like I said a second ago, I'm wearing like three different primers, which I can't imagine is good for my skin but who cares? So I'm not gonna put any makeup on my neck because let's be real, it's nine o'clock at night and I'm gonna take this off as soon as I'm done. So that's it for the foundation. Okay, so I'm no makeup artist, so I don't actually know if this is what comes next in like the makeup timeline, but now I'm gonna contour. And just like a warning, I don't contour ever, so this is probably gonna look bad. Just so you know, I was super excited to put my hand up like that, but like it honestly did not do anything. And here's just me sucking at contour. Oh yeah, it smelled good by the way. I don't know if this is actually where you contour, but it's what I did. Now I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend it out. Don't know if this is right either, but I mean, we're just trying everything today. It looks like I have a beard. So I do have my own highlighter. It actually comes with a contour that I don't use. But I think this is highlighter. It might not be. I use it that way. So let's get started. The 99 cent stuff. This actually was 99 cents. Like I'm not even kidding. That's how sucky this stuff is. I still am rocking the beard, but I didn't put on blush yet, which I think you're supposed to do before you put on highlight. I don't know. And this is from the Ipsy bag, and it has a magnet on the back. It does not stick to magnetic things, though. This blush straight sucked. I can't even... It sucked. Now I'm going to fill my eyebrows with my own pencil, and I don't think you'll be able to see me do it anyway, so I'm just going to do it. Eyebrows are done a little bit more prominently than I would have liked them, but whatever life goes on, now looking at them I see this one is darker than this one, but whatever, who cares? So I did steal some eyeshadows, so we're going to do that next. Elf $1 represent. Okay, so this is just eyelid primer. I think I'm fancy, so I'm going to use it. Okay, this is my eyeshadow. 
Okay, this was like the most exciting part was to point at that and then I have my Sephora brushes which aren't even mine. I found them which is probably really gross but I'm going to use them and I'm just packing that pink into my eye. I wanted to say that so bad. You have no idea. So there I am packing. Also, I just want to apologize for always holding the mirror in front of my face. I think this is the first time I'm not doing it. Okay, now we're going to use that little white and we're going to put it in the corner of our eye with the Sephora brush that I showed y'all before. And now we're going to use that dark brown with a new Sephora brush for your crease. And we're just going to put that all up in the crease. Also, don't mind my super frizzy hair, it's just what it is. Oops. Okay, so right now, this is what I did, and like when I'm looking at it, it doesn't look bad, but when I see it in my phone, it looks pretty bad, but we're gonna keep going. I put my hand up even though it makes no difference and you can't read it anyway, but oh well. Okay, so now I'm doing my eyeliner and all I'm going to do is draw like a line on my eyelid. I'm not going to do a wing because I don't know how to do that and I would mess it up. Curling. Yep, curling. Doing my mascara. Pretty self-explanatory there. Okay, so at this point, all I have left to do is my lips, but other than my eyebrows being two different shades, I think this isn't that bad, and it could have gone a lot worse, but it's going to get a lot worse. So like I said, I will be using everything I got in this Ipsy stealing from my sister, which includes a lot of lip things, because my sister doesn't wear any lip things, and I'm going to use all of them. So I don't know if this is like a gloss or a lipstick or like a chapstick, but this stuff was just not coming off and going onto my lips and like the color was really awkwardly weird. I don't know. I didn't like it. Number one. Okay, because like overdrawn lips are still a thing, right? Like I'm not really caught up on what the edgy teens are doing. I'm going to do some overdrawn lips for you all today. This is a little darker addition to contrast with my lips already. I feel like it adds a nice deepness to my overdrawn lip that I'm going for. Number two and number three because I forgot to say it. Number two. This is the last one. Now I was also trying to do like an ombre thing but I messed up because this one is like a lot lighter than the one I used before but oh well. So the Ipsy bag also came with hair stuff. You're supposed to use it on wet hair but my hair is dry and I'm not going to get it wet. So... So this is a completed look. Honestly, I think I should be a makeup artist. I think this is like quality makeup work. Like someone would pay a lot of money for this. I think I look great, but. Just to give you a glimpse and maybe some better lighting. I mean, all the light is pretty boo-boo because it's nine o'clock at night.